yo con él. Hola. Para ganar. Día back. He will have, he will have WhatsApp. Hey there, what's up? So excited to be completing this now. Like we are only left with the design aspect of the application. We could complete the we could complete the integration the last time around. We integrated Airtable with Webflow. And now let's just work on the visual part. Yep, yep. Cool. So do you want to quickly show what the current one looks like? Sure. I'll share my screen. Yeah. Let me know if you can see. Yep, we can. Yep. So let's go to the hosted one. So it was readme dot webflow dot io slash google slash it doesn't look very good right now but yeah the data is coming from the air table so we have the name and the profile picture of the user we have the current street so this is something we need to work on we need to calculate the street right now it's just the total number of excerpts that are there then we have the currently reading section the favorite books of the particular user and the logs. So these are the excerpts that Swapnil had logged while reading those books. All right. Do you want to take like a screenshot of the space so that we have it to later to compare on Yeah. <laughs> how it looks like now before? Oh, sure. I just right click, take screenshot. Uh, and Firefox provides it directly. Just right click. Huh, this one, yeah. Just save full page. Done. Awesome. Cool. Uh, by the way, Mohu has signed up for the next cohort. So yeah, <laughs> for him, this is like a preview of what we're building for the uh for people inside the cohort. So this this is like the outcome of this is that we give you more nudges to read more because then you have a personal home for all your reading. Um, yeah, it's almost like a reading journal. Yeah. Yeah. So this would be actually a good time to get some feedback. Like, Mohit, what do you think? Would something like a like your own profile will uh, help you to read more? So, so I think uh, this is the continuation from the last session, right? Right. And uh, I had a conflicting class, so I had to drop out. I had just joined, uh, but before the class started, I had to drop. Uh, so this is what we have built in the last one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. So just want to know your thoughts on the data that Yeah. we have so far. So right now we are trying to showcase the street. So the street is basically the number of continuous days you have read. And this one is the total number of excerpts. So excerpts are the log, like your, while you are reading a book, you might come, come across a line which you would really like and would like to share it with the world. So this is something that you can log in over here. Then you have the currently reading section, like whatever book you are reading right now and your favorite books that you have read in the past. And these are the actual uh, logs that Sopnil had logged. So from the book, God, The God Delusion from Richard Dawkins. He really liked this line and wanted to share it with the world. So yeah, this is something that is coming from an air table. Yeah. Yeah, that one look, looks really good. And the excerpts you were showing. Yeah. Yeah, this is really good. So I'll just show you the wire frame also. Huh. Huh, that is good. So we are trying to build something like this. Okay. So the top three books goes on the top, like every uh, social profile has a cover image. So we just thought that we would make better use of the cover image. So this becomes actually a, becomes a starting talking point for the user, right? So Yeah. at the top, they can see your top three books and that becomes a good con uh, introduction to you. Then we can show the street and the excerpt, the currently, Total number of excerpts, yeah. yep. the currently reading section below and then we'll have an instagram like format for all the grids of the excerpt Hmm. so Hmm. Yeah, this this is is good. yeah 
This is what yeah. we will try to build in this session. Okay. So I'll just switch to shortness profile because the data is there. Does it go to item ID or field ID? Item ID. Yep. Let's do for mobile first and then we'll switch to the larger screen. Yep, sounds good. Mm -hmm. So we need this to be above the name. You can actually give them a title to that. Yeah, you can just say name. How do I do that? Uh, right click, rename. No. Uh, no right click. Just type R. R. No. Okay. I, uh, uh, what do you want to do? Uh, we want to rename the section over here. Okay. You can add the class, right? I just the section only. Yeah. Uh, click on that cogwheel. So, uh, Agrawal, can you say the cogwheel? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, the settings icon. Yeah. Hmm. Show all settings. Can I have a heading one? Okay. No, this is the ID. Uh, happening, you know? Oh yeah, go to that. Try clicking on that three dots on the top heading one styles ke right me. I think I think there are like four or five fields only for now. Let's yeah, yeah. let's keep it. Yeah, yeah. let let's focus on design. So like session yeah. focus of this this session is get the design in place. And uh, maintain maintainability, we can keep working in parallel. Otherwise, it will not be done. <laughs> in, in yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay. So we should give this the width, height, and width. Let's try with two hundred. So big, right? Um. Can can we round? Uh, have rounded corners. Like basically, can we make it as like a circle? Yeah, we'll try to yeah. give it a radius. Do I give this a radius? Okay. Let me just make this auto again. Yep. Round it. Perfect. And get it on the center. This is like the, we're doing like a proper playing around with the web flow, mm -hmm. with the use case. All right, take, I think the first few times we'll get to know the entire layout. All right, um, image. So I'm just thinking from a developer perspective, since like all, all three of us I are would... developers, I think image needs to be in a section and okay. in that it needs to be center aligned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make, yes. So I'll put in a container. 
Yeah, sure. I'm not sure what's the difference between a section and a container, but yeah. So I think the section is something that takes in the whole width of the screen. Got and it. the container has some padding to it. Got, got it. So we need, okay, container padding. Yeah, let's now align image in, in middle. Uh, in the middle. Interesting. Can we select the container once? Like, can we see the boundary of the container? This is the whole one. All right. Okay. So, so okay. What what happened? Uh, so container. This alignment property applies to the child of the containers. Is it? I think yes. So whatever we put, that will be center line. Okay, understood. And just put this in a separate section too, right? Like that will become the header. Head header as in? So this would be the container would be inside a section. So if we want to, you know, later on color the section or something like that. Which but we can color the container also, right? What's the difference between a section? Okay, I think you told the difference. Section but... would be the whole width. Got it. Okay. I'll trust you on that. that. This looks good. All right. Uh, let's have some padding at the top. On the container. So should we add padding on container or section? Uh, let's just first move the favorite books to the top. Because on the wireframe, we have them on the top. Got it. Yeah. Both of these things we need to move inside a container. That will be inside the header section. So I have to move it individually. So we don't need the headings anymore. How how will we know what, what are the three books then? So I think that is intuitive, right? Like if we have three books at the top. No, it is not right, but it could be that I'm currently reading these three books. So we have the heading for currently reading mm. and we have this on the top like on yeah. this cover yeah i think it will will need a will need a heading okay can we can iterate let's let's try to like get these the three books you know we need a like you know in one row we want to get them in one row I added a container where did it go? So uh should we like is it like should we have a new section? Uh, I'm thinking this this is a like this part is one section. This Achha, is the, oh, this I, is I assume that the top thing is like a sticky thing. No? Hmm. Hmm. This one is a sticky thing. So then this is a different section, right? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so we don't want the profile. Like, when we are scrolling through the excerpt, how do we want it to be? Like, what information should be on the... Should be stuck on the screen or... I think we'll, we'll, we'll use it part. and we'll use it and we'll figure it out. Let's go section okay. by section. For now, I think the decision that we are on in it is uh, favorite books. Is it sticky or is it not sticky? What would make more, more sense to get it sticky or not? I would say let's go with non sticky first. Yeah. Right? yeah. Make it how it looks. And then while you will also then try it out. We'll open it on our mobile phones, then we'll see how it goes. Okay. 
Okay, so this is inside a container. This Do is like want a to get web programming to... session. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, me and Mohib are just chilling out because we don't have to do anything really. We just have to <laughs> point at things, which is like much easier than actually doing. So yeah. Yeah. So we need to give these perfect height. So it is 14 and 20, but this looks much bigger than that. What? This is 14 and 20? How is it? Uh... I don't think so. This okay. Here... So this was the typography. Okay. okay. Yeah. That uh, it's much much bigger than that. Yeah. How much should I give it? Hundred by hundred. Um, max with since these oh. are like, wow, perfect. Wah. This is like <laughs> randomly <laughs> spray and pray. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is okay? Let let's try it out. Uh, this is three twenty, right? This is three twenty. Uh, the width of this thing. Uh, then I think we should not uh, do it by pixels. We should do it by the percentage. percentage. Yeah. Um, thirty three. Yeah, let's try thirty three. Cool. Let's let's try a tablet view now. Too big. We need okay. to give it a height as well. Too big, yeah. I think we'll we'll need to design it differently. Yeah, I think for now let's let's just focus on mobile. Yeah, All right. right. This looks good. Favorite books. Let's uh, make it smaller. This is overflowing from the container. Okay, so because uh, there's a there's a field overflow, you can control just below that maximum height. Do we want to hide it, like so the lower portion? No, no that won't look good. Yeah, we need to show everything. <clears throat> So have you fixed the height of the container or this container? No, I don't think so. We don't, we don't have a fixed height. But, but it's okay, then, right? If, if width yeah. is fixed, then height will automatically like go by an aspect ratio. Yep. More of your saying. Yeah, I was saying, why is it getting overflowed and why is it not expanding? I mean, the container's height, is why is it not expanding? Got it. Let's see. Okay, so we need to put the height on the image rather than the item. Interesting. Okay, let's put it on the image. No, but right now it is good, right? Right now there's no overflow, there's nothing. Yeah. This looks good, no? I like the previous one better. So just let it have the original height, like whatever yeah. the aspect ratio, right? Yeah. We just care about the width. Uh, width. Cool. Let's go center for the thing. Yeah, let's thoda, uh, decrease the size. Oh, uh, we, we did not take a, uh, this thing, what do you say? A uh, picture of the mobile view, right? I think we should take that as well before publishing. So that we have a before and after. This is how it is. I'll download. Yeah, right click take screenshot. Yeah, I've taken the screenshot. Okay. So should I make this capital? Yeah. Uh 
Okay, now now I'm just thinking we'll need to play around with some fonts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll we'll do that. My my favorite font is Nuneto. Is it here? Yep. Should be. Nope. It's not like that font. Monito. The Monito bold looks good. Um, do I need to publish this? Before refreshing, should I hit publish? Uh, not needed. Uh, if you, if you want to reflect, then yes. Can I give the global font? Global word? Like every font will get it from here. Yeah, this is the global. Money took. This one. Got it. Does it look good? Yeah, I think for now it's good. Uh, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure we'll do the fine tuning later, maybe. Okay. Yeah, let's get the base layout in place. We need this. So if I if we look at the uh, wireframe, mm -hmm. I have it slightly above this one. And maybe uh so this would be the cover, the whole thing, rectangle. These are the books. There's some padding. So maybe we can give a separate background color to the cover. Uh, cover yeah yeah makes sense so it becomes like a twitter thing wherein your photo sort of uh yeah exactly intersects with your profile picture and cool this container i need to give it a different color and put some padding hmm. the color, the color. Cool. i'll just be right back just give me a color. That will do. Um, just uh, select uh, something in blue, maybe. Blue. Uh, maybe a lighter. Interesting. Yeah, this is cool. We can also have this as a customization option later. <laughs> yeah. My lab for for pro users. Yeah, actually, green also is very nice. That looks good. Yep, yep. Let's just go ahead with this one and then we can change it later. Cool. Can we extend this like bottom? Uh, uh, add add uh, some like extend the banner to like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give, give it some padding, right? Padding, yeah. To decrease the height of the, so that padding on the top already. How does it get that? Uh, go to section. We don't have any padding here. Interesting. Go to container. Not go to go to container. the text. Uh, open this. Go to the text. Where is the text? Oh. Yeah, that's it. So I think this would be the default padding's uh, margins of the H2 tab. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is showing, right? Resetting will inherit from all H2 headings. 
yep it's for the h2 so i'll just get get this to zero and take the no, this, this is this is also fine i think this is cool um yeah then get this give it a negative margin oh oh, oh wow this is like should we then add like the name on the right side of the profile picture? Okay. So the profile picture comes left, just like Twitter. And then uh, the name and the the two numbers can come in the right side of the picture itself. So like that becomes the entire thing. I like it this way, to be honest. Let's cool. Twitter. Let's let's continue with this. Uh, it's Got it. So basically, like I was just thinking in terms of. Like there's something on the right, right? On the picture, there are some buttons. Yeah, for... yeah got it. Got it. We can yeah. maybe do it for the desktop version. Cool. Yeah. Sounds good. Let's decrease some uh, size of this text. Hmm. Good. Yep. And just remove the margin. 10. Even zero is cool. Yeah, that's good to me. What about you? Yep, yep. Let's move to the next container. Okay. So this container needs to be a flex element. And on the center. Interesting. So it doesn't work for flex. I think that looks okay. Yep, yep. I'm just realizing that uh, Webflow is super powerful. If you have like a good design in Figma, you can just do everything here. Whatever yeah. you can do in code, pretty much you can do most of things here. So yeah, just like I mentally noted it for future that first design in Figma <laughs> and then mm -hmm. 
uh, whatever you have in mind, you can replicate it here. Yeah. So now let's go to the currently reading section. So we want to degree the height of this as well. So uh, in this section, uh, we'll go back to the wireframe. We'll have currently reading and the name and the author name on the right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes. Cool. So let's make a section. We can give it a color. Yeah, it's already a section. All right. Let's uh, maybe give it a, we can give a lighter green, maybe like same hue, but lighter. Let's just uh, fix the size first. Sure. Let's give it 33 as well. So that it's like the same size. Right. Yeah, I like this division as well. It's like one, one third, two third for text. Yeah, this is cool. It also gives consistency because excerpts be, it will be interesting. You're thinking of excerpts. Mm -hmm. Would it be like a three on three or a? I think three on three would make sense for the excerpts. Instagram is three by three. So we don't need the columns like this. How do we? Bit of touch. Okay, not the container. The yeah, column. now I can hear you. Can you hear me, Bahab? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, okay. I'm having network issues. Okay. No worries. We are done with the yeah. header section. Yeah, okay. we are done with the header. Now we are working on the current PDB. Yeah, okay. I'm just thinking we don't need the columns. We can directly play with the container. And just have a div here. Uh, why? Why we don't need the column? Uh, so that's like a redundant block, right? We can directly play with the container. We already have the section. Yeah, but how okay. will it uh, uh, go to the right? Yeah, I'll just add the flex properties to the container itself. Okay. Okay, no. Yeah. And we are just showing the name of the book, not the author. Let's show the, okay, author. Oh yeah, we decided author. Okay, I'm not sure what to decide with the author. Last time we said maybe author is, don't, don't need the author. Maybe. Let's just see how does it look. Yeah. We need to decrease the size of this. So what was that one? 16. and make this capital two bold. Let's try to add the author to. Yes. And, uh, text block. Do, do we have it in the schema? I think so, because it takes in the currently reading author. Oh, perfect.
we need to add some padding look. Right? Yeah. A margin. Ten. Twenty. Twenty looks good. Yeah, let's add some margin on the left side of the book as well. Uh, container or should be added. Yeah. The container, add the padding to the container. Right? Yeah. Hmm. Ten. Nice. Can you make this, um, should we make this vertically center, the text on the right? I think this is better. We might need to give it a margin on the top. Yeah. And give this a different color. Yeah. So I was thinking would white look better here? I think colors we can play around later. That That's yeah. fine. Let's get yeah. the layout things in place. Colors, it, it will all also be like you know maybe you can create a bunch of versions with different colors we can also ask like show people hey here's a link open this in your mobile tell us what looks best hmm. Hmm. should we give it a different color or the same one let's do different I thought same would work. Mm, same, yeah. same would work. Yeah, different won't look good. Okay. Unless it. it's complementing it. Yeah. Like this is not complementing it. But yeah, as something said, we can changing the color won't take long. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for laying now, out, let's keep it this yeah. way. Lay, lay, laying out it uh, should be the priority. Let's add a uh, padding Margin at the top, top and bottom. Huh. Need that, uh, okay. Padding, padding. Yeah. Padding. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this looks good. Now the final section for the exit. Where are these? Sorry? Yeah, where are these excerpts uh, coming from in this format? Like manually, uh, you have made them, Swapnil? So the user shares the text and then okay. we have a code short feature wherein we convert this into this image. Oh, oh nice. by a readvice, there is a tool by readvice, hmm. and then in the database we store this image itself. So Ooh. for for Webflow, Webflow doesn't need to know where this is coming from. Hmm. This this thing just knows that there are images hmm. with the excerpts that it needs to render. So that it, it gives us the flexibility to change that in future. Yeah. Um, let's call this logs or I think this is something we can remove actually. We don't need to. it's almost like Insta now, right? Wherein yep. if you have posted it then that that is something you want to showcase. So we can do it like similar 33%. Let's see how that goes. Or maybe make it a grid. Okay, yeah, sure. Three by three. A 
Let's call columns as three, maybe. Rows or rows, or even rows would be three, right? Three by three. No, rows. Rows could be infinite. Uh, infinite. Oh, it shouldn't be the container. It should be the list wrapper. Okay. The list wrapper would be a grid. Why is it only one? I think there is even one more. Yeah, there is one more question. This is a little bit annoying. Yeah. Is this something inside collection list as well? Yeah, ah, perfect. perfect. Nice. So we can reduce the spaces in between. Uh, go to collection list wrapper. By the way, uh, do we need two rows? Like, we don't need rows, right? We don't need, yeah. It should be auto. Cool. Yeah, the gap. Yeah. Eight. It looks good. Uh, let's let's try zero. How does does that look? Zero. So they'll be stacked against each other. Um, uh, can can you go down? Just scroll down. Nope. Can't scroll. Uh, so it, it, it grayed out actually. Like editing, oh. can it like click done. Okay, ah, go down. Uh, there, there's still a lot of gap, right? In between. Hmm. I'm not sure how, where this coming from. Maybe that is because of the aspect ratio thing. Ah. Uh, yeah, but this, doesn't this look like very small? Yeah, yeah. we need to give it this uh, height. 100 picture. Yeah. Oh. I think we need to like stretch out this image so that it fills the entire space. If, even if that means it is zoomed out, sorry, zoomed in at some area, that is fine. But we need like, a... okay, this, this padding 10, 10, we can remove this padding. Yeah, that's what causing. Cool. Um, we need to give this some height. What would be a good number? Uh, what what do we need this for? So it's too small, right? If we can give it a bit of height. No, but so I think from a from a device perspective, it is covering one third, right? Mm -hmm. Achha, achha, you're saying right. So max height ni, min height will need to give. Yeah. Let's try 100. Go down. What happened? Let's just add another item. Which is very weird. Are you sure it's another item? No. Okay. On the image, I think we need to give the height. Okay. Is the height on your yeah. 
this look good i think we need to uh, give... click click on click, click on fit instead of fill let's try other options down two three rows down yeah click on stretch maybe and let's just try which one looks best i like contain but contain is still same only no from a like if we increase the height and if you're not zooming in then what's the use that is too much well okay let's do cover uh let's um so currently this height is 320 which is which means one one of them is getting what uh, uh, 106 width and now we are giving it 100 height um so we're doing a one on one is to one aspect ratio almost for this particular device type this looks good what I guess. if we what if we give this the height of 100 percent as well what is 100 percent okay what is how 100% is like uh, the percent is like calculated on the device. Doesn't look good. Mm. Okay. So if, if the image is zoomed out, do you want to focus more on text or do you want to focus more on cover? The text should be visible. It is what cover image. Sorry? Irrespective of the cover image? Yep. Because the main, uh, like the USB over here is the excerpt, right? Not the cover image. Plus, we have the name of the book and author as well. Mm. So, how do we shift this? Not sure. And what is position? See? Oh, we got that sticky. Okay. Can we try the sticky for the top favorite thing? This one? Yeah. I think this section is too big for our Sure. Library. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. I think most likely we'll do away with the, with the title, which is favorite books. And we'll try to show that these are the favorite books by some other way. Okay. So, all right. So right now what we're saying is this excerpts. Let's just keep it this way itself right now. For now, Check add out. some padding on the container. Yeah. And maybe a small gap would look better. Yeah. Let's see with two pixels, four pixels. Let's see what looks good. Yeah. Just let me add 10 no, not Okay. No, not here. I think let's put it on the image itself. No, let uh, Don't put it here. Okay. Hey, so sorry. Uh, I'm having network issues. No, no, no issue. Problem. It's okay. The selector is... It's very bad. Click on image four. Yeah. Either let's give padding. Padding to the image or padding to the collection item. Collection item, yeah. Basically a padding and the gap to the collection item. There was there was an option we saw somewhere, right? Gap would be on the list. Gap of yes. two pixels. Yeah, let's see how that goes. Two and two. Two small. Four. Four looks good. So let's try it as well. Ajay, four other four other eight ho jayega, right? Add okay. No, four like between the items. Four on the column and four on the row. Acha. 
and then container side se we'll need to give padding as well padding on the container or on the wrapper let's do container because upar bhi container could be yeah yeah are we using grid here yeah so for the okay for the layout we are using grid yeah uh, for these images right so, yeah yeah so we can use grid gap yeah we give gave a gap of four like too much gap was not looking good so this, okay i think this look well enough mm. yeah once you publish it we can check it on mobile yeah we need to give some margin top right Yeah. You're gonna give it to the container itself. Yeah. This is enough. Or should we give more? I think this looks okay. We need to reduce the size of this section. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Yeah. We can go for even twenty to ten, maybe. We can. Okay, we'll figure it out. This looks overall favorite books. Okay, how do we reduce size of favorite books? What are some uh, favorites? Okay, should we add like a like a heart or like a some some emoji to show that these are our favorite books? Like if you if you show three books with the heart emoji, I think that sort of should convey that these are favorite books. What do you think? But we need we need to position it somewhere over here. Like uh, on top of on the, the books. Top. Yeah, top top right, right. Hmm. Ah. Okay. So inside the collection item, it should be positioned absolute to the top. Right, side. right. So this would be a text. Which one? Which is the normal? Why isn't the normal one here? <laughs> okay, it would be for love. Crazy man. <laughs> We are not going to normal. Okay. Heart. Yeah. Cool. Which is this tool, by the way? This is pretty cool. It's the default Windows for emoji. Default for Windows. Windows. Oh, okay. Position should be absolute. To the top right. Crazy. We need to give this some. Top part to take it. Right me some. Hmm. You can drag it basically. Ten. So yeah, yeah, this is perfect, right? Perfect. This is perfect, actually. Yeah. So we don't need this anymore. Yeah, just you yeah. can delete it. Mm. Okay. Some padding. Need padding. Yeah. Yep. So forty down to twenty. Yeah, twenty should be fine. Yep. It's for thoda aur upar kar sakte hain. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Minus. Hmm. Thirty. 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 To see there. Let's do thirty-two. Multiple of it. Huh. Yeah. Thirty-two. Yeah. Thirty-two. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Pretty nice. It's probably for a small 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, it actually looks nice. Okay. Currently reading, like, is there is there an emoji to replace that as well? Uh, we can use that uh, book, book wala. Open book. Ha, open book wala. Ha. Let's let's try that. Yeah. So, should we position it here as well? The after capital. No? Uh, I just want to like, see, like, how how does that emoji look? And then, okay. like, like in in place of currently reading, let's uh, remove it and try it. This one. Uh -huh. mm. Not con. Not intuitive, actually. Yeah. 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 Hard fire are intuitive. Scroll. Okay. Also, I'm not Current, sure. They we will... can believe currently reading. It's for okay. color change perfect. Maybe. Hmm. White. With a background color. Text color. I think this is better. Up next? Mm, I'm just... I don't have a... Very good opinion on the two. Like for me, it's like sort of the same for me right now. Okay. Good thing is like there is some difference which tells me that uh, the book name and book author are more related because their their shade of color is the same compared to currently reading. So yeah. Yeah. yeah overall, overall, I think we can move again. Um, I, this I actually don't like this color, like the background color. Let, let's yeah. try, let's pick something else. Yeah. Let's do let's a picture. Go to, go to a color palette generator. Sure. Hmm. Let's do this, but go. This one? Yeah. This, this one gives like more like a book ka page ka color, right? Let's yep. try that. Uh, is there a way to like uh, make that uh, what would you say? Click on plus, top right. I just want to like put that in a variable name so that it's easy for us to change it. No, this is for um, image. I don't know. Achha, nahin, nahin. This, we don't need this. How do we... Uh... So, uh, we should have used the same container. So, container pe background dal rahe the background. If we have not set the height, to ho pata wo. otherwise... No, no. What uh, I'm saying is... Can we put the color in a variable name so that we can change it everywhere together later? Mm -hmm. No, no, I'm not we sure. Can, we can save over here. Ah, let's save it. Yeah, let's, let's name it background. It's called tab. primary background or something. Yeah, yeah, let's call it background. Yeah. Is it not taking background? Try primary back. I'll just undo this. Hmm. Call it primary BG. Hmm, it says all instead of the color will update automatically if you edit in in the future. Nice. Yeah. Didn't know this. 
बिल्कुल मेकिंग इट मेंटेनेबल सॉर्टेड नाउ वी जस्ट नीड टू चेंज द प्राइमरी कलर एंड ट्राई डिफरेंट या करेंटली रीडिंग द फॉन्ट कलर व्हाइट जमनी राइट था या लेट्स पिक पिक समथिंग द फोर कलर्स ऑन कूलर्स और मे बी गेट दिस अ लिटिल ग्रेश मतलब व्हाइट से थोड़ा हां समथिंग समथिंग डार्क हां ठीक है वही कूलर पे चेक कर देना इसके साथ क्या कॉम्प्लीमेंट कर रहा था ठीक है इट्स वन एट वन प्लेस ओनली लेट्स लेट्स ओके व्हेन आई यूज इट सेकंड टाइम विल क्रिएट इट ठीक है फॉन्ट कलर और समथिंग हां वी हैव इट अह इफ का भी चेंज करना है इंस्टेड ऑफ ब्लैक लेट्स ट्राई दिस गुड एक्चुअली इट्स ओके दिस पाइन थ्री ओके ओके ज़्यादा डिफरेंस नहीं है बट यार लेट्स क्रिएट लाइक सिंस वी आर यूजिंग इट ट्वाइस लेट्स क्रिएट इट या बट हां यार वी विल नीड टू चेंज दिस यू नो इस तरह बैकग्राउंड वाइट लेट्स ऐड दिस ऑन द बैकग्राउंड मे नो बट देन ये दोनों में ज्यादा फर्क नहीं है हम्म ओ इट इज फाइन ठीक है, I think this looks good for now. Yeah, let's just keep it this one. Cool. Publish करके देखें. Just one, uh, the the grid, uh, इसका padding let's थोड़ा decrease it. I want to like have the same padding on the left and the top. जितना भी ले. Okay. You want which padding to be decreased, the top or the left? Ah, uh, so just change twenty to ten. On the top, no. Ah, uh, top padding change. Okay. Yeah, let let's publish. Cool. Let's see how that goes. Hmm. And now I want to open in my mobile. Okay, I'll just share the it. link. I'm not able to see. अच्छा, you'll see. वहाँ पे कुछ pop up था ना? Yeah. अच्छा, ये ready में ये flow ठीक है. I'll just type it out. थोड़ा सा वो हेडर में कुछ ऐसा मिसिंग लग रहा है कि कुछ होना चाहिए ऊपर लाइक वेबसाइट का नाम और समथिंग अचानक से शुरू हो रहा है ऐसा फील हो रहा है अदरवाइज या इट लुक्स क्लीन रीडेमी का कुछ ब्रांडिंग होना चाहिए हां कुछ ब्रांडिंग और लाइक और दिस ट्विटर डू नेव जस्ट ओपन ट्विटर व्हाट इज दिस इन द सेम पेज लेट्स जस्ट ओपन ट्विटर What is yeah. there on the top of their website? Let's open a profile. Ah, uh, open the mobile view. 
यहाँ पे इेगुलर पैडिंग आ रहा है इसका क्या करना है थ्री को फोर कर सकते क्या थ्री को फोर लाइक नंबर ऑफ बुक्स इज थ्री राइट ना फेवरेट फेवरेट बुक्स अगर स्पेस है तो फोर कर सकते क्या सिंस यू आर डिक्रीजिंग द वेट राइट विल इट बी टू मच लेट्स कैलकुलेट कितना बच रहा है आई थिंक हो जाएगा फोर विल बी टू मच अकॉर्डिंग टू मी हाउ अबाउट बी लाइक हां साइड स्पेस स्पेसिंग कर सकते एक सेकंड हां या फिर साइड्स पे लाइक स्पेसिंग अराउंड कर सकते हैं आई बी वाना वाला आई वाज गुड एक्चुअली नाउ नाउ आई एम थिंकिंग जस्ट अगेन माय व्हेन आई एम व्यूइंग प्रोफाइल पेज ऑन माय मोबाइल द मेन अटेंशन लाइक द फर्स्ट थिंग आई आई सी इज माय फोटो देन आई गो डाउन आई सी माय नेम एंड द स्ट्रीक एंड एवरीथिंग and there at the top it is the most prominent thing that i want to show which is my favorite books i think yeah. this is okay this look, looks good actually yeah okay. i i'm just trying to add the readme ka logo there ha cool this thing with the nav bar is it yeah okay yeah we can also add the favicon should be while people right okay Do a nav bar or just a section with the logo in between. Yeah, you can use the nav bar since it is a nav bar. Think you'll have. Uh, ओके 
कंटेन करने से That was the default setting. Okay, and then I have a link block. It takes to so our landing page would be over here. Oh, we need a landing page. I think for now, let's send it to Twitter. We can change okay. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To read thirty x thirty or read them exactly. Let's send to thirty x thirty. It's read thirty x thirty only, man. Right? Yeah. By the way, how is uh, the current cohort going? It's pretty good. Uh, have you seen? Uh, so we we share some. Uh, what do you say? What people are reading on on this profile? Have you checked out this profile? No. Oh, let no, me. No, I haven't. Let me just sh share it. So we have a Twitter, yeah. like a, we have a new Twitter account just to showcase huh. what people are reading. It is okay. read thirty x thirty. I've just shared in a chat, and then we have an huh. Instagram as well, uh, with the name Read Me Cafe. And like both these places, we are sharing what people are reading, so we can see the diversity of the books that that are being read. Yeah. Oh, nice. Have you opened one of these? Yeah, I, I opened it thirty by thirty. Abhi now, right now. Okay. So it's also a good way to discover new books if if you are thinking mm. what to pick up. So just go yeah. through those excerpts and then pick what you like. Yeah. Five of our table building and picking chair. Yeah, how do I decrease the size? Uh, just uh, go to max max height. Change it to let's say thirty two. Overflow. Uh, overflow. Um. Uh, okay. Make it hundred percent. Acha, no, not max height. Click on height. Instead of auto, let's do some some no name. Remove max height. Uh, the height, the image height. Let's just put some number. So this will be whatever it was. Same for this. And the image. So we give it a height. And the width. And. uh did it work no 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 uh okay this is very weird so what do you want to decrease this logo size right, right. yeah okay uh just publish this one i just want to see how it looks on the website Can you close that? Uh, yeah. Pop up. Okay, so public. Okay, maybe there's some cash. 
हाँ अभी तक नहीं आया अच्छा दैट सेक्शन है इसका इमेज और दिस इज अ लिंक ब्लॉक तो इसके अंदर हो सकता है इमेज रादर देन हैविंग इट ऑन द बैकग्राउंड मेक सेंस यप आई जस्ट रिमूव द लिंक ब्लॉक Uh, mark side, yeah. Nice. Let's add This looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Adding. Yeah. um maybe we don't need it this would work yeah this looks fine yeah mm. okay. yeah looks neat this can be cast this feels like design yeah movie you're saying who designed this logo i can see the r and c ready me cast This this is this is just uh I just looked oh. for a cool font. Oh, I typed it in that font. I took a photo of it. This is the logo. <laughs> the C the C C वाला part was unexpected, ना? Which which like one? You didn't you didn't think about the C like but ये C जैसा दिख रहा है. C for R R R and R and C. That's oh. what I saw. Oh, interesting. Oh, I definitely didn't. didn't. So, oh, acha. The the cafe got added uh, like later before it was just reading read me like reading yeah. a week up for Pandyo. Like cafe, I think uh, last year you yeah. around December you added when yeah. that four section and adult adulting and uh, you also see adulting fun and uh, escape. Ah, <laughs> yeah. So then you add it. Then you add it. Okay, okay. But yeah. Maybe, now, maybe my name. Pehle se. Ah, huh? go ahead. Go ahead. My name. Pehle se. Redemi cafe. Na, so I tried to make sense. Ki R and C. Dikh raha. Bilkul, bilkul. But dikh raha. <laughs> who and anyone now for anyone hmm. who asks, I will say this is very intentionally designed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kafi time laga tha banane mein. Ah. Try to make a combination of R and C. Cool. Mm. Yeah, but this looks good. Yeah, I think this is like. Yeah, yeah. Have you published it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Amazing. This is done. Yeah, it looks clean. The only one thing that is remaining is clicking on. the uh excerpt should do a pop up yeah of that otherwise mobile look, mobile view is done uh, mm. maybe text of view we can do later for now we'll just keep the mobile view yeah
how do we how do we do a pop up here now we can open a full yeah, window so like desktop pe itna pehle to to theek hi dikh raha hai aha yeah but still i think desktop we haven't designed it intentionally right desktop is more like uh we have hard coded a bunch of things we haven't used percentages yeah. everywhere so yeah. yeah i think that's fine we'll just say we have, we have built it for mobile that's totally fine we just need a way for that excerpt to go for when yeah. tapped um would that be a new new page or would that be this only this is something we need to think yeah. Now we can o- open a full page pop-up. Uh, can, can you just open a grid if, if there's an option of maybe tapping? I think if if the component itself provides that. Uh, no, no, not not a new component. Just click on the uh, main the one image thing only. And go to the right top three. There are a bunch of sections, right? Styling ke lava. Go to this uh, interaction <laughs> style manager. Nahi. Uh, ha. The 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 next one. Event trigger. Yeah. Let's just see. Click on add. Let's see what's there. Yeah, the animation on mouse clip. Yep, let's do this. Mouse clip, select an action. Uh, animation. Hmm. Grow. We can try. But yeah, these are just for the animation. Let's see. If grow, grow big. We can do something. Yeah. Here. Oh, that's animation. We can have this like when on load, you know. No, no, I didn't understand. Click pay. What is happening? Oh, this and we have the animation of growing out. That's all. So what actually happened when it grew up, grown out? No, it's not okay. Uh, can, can we search for like webflow tap to enlarge image something like that image enlarge and click image interaction it's an animation here okay. both of the links we should try I'm working on my site for folder page, and I would like to it would like to it blow up to a larger scale and click on kind of like a pop-up window. I guess. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, my use case. So. Perfect. Oh. Light box. Yeah, uh, there there was a solution. Uh, there was a solved solution at the top, just below the question. Yeah, solved. Just, just play this video. Yeah, I love when a solution is in the form of a video. Like this is so rare. Wow, <laughs> spoke too early. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, at the same time. So what is it? Yeah, light box. Some component of Airflow. Need to see. Okay, this previous video since I had a model that. Acha, that they have pre-made. Yeah, nice. You won't be able to hear, no? Uh-huh. no I think you'll need to share sound while sharing screen. is an extraordinary way to keep users on your page while drawing their attention to visual content like images or videos. There are four topics we're going to cover. Anatomy of a light box, thumbnails, what we're pressing to trigger the light box, media, the content that shows up inside the light box, and linking multiple light boxes. We'll start with anatomy, and now we'll move on to anatomy of a light box. In a project, a light box link looks very much like an image. In fact, That's the default structure. It's an image element, that's our thumbnail image, and it's wrapped with, it's inside, a lightbox link. Just like any link block, we can add or remove content inside our lightbox link. And also like any link block, pressing anywhere inside the boundaries of this lightbox will trigger the lightbox link. 
when we go to preview and press our Lightbox link, the Lightbox is triggered. That image or video that pulls up, that's our media. And that's the basic anatomy of a Lightbox link. Let's look at the thumbnail more closely. You can drop a Lightbox almost anywhere. In this example, we have a columns element. That row contains three columns. Each of the first two columns has its own Lightbox inside. And what we'll do now is add one to the third column. And when we add a new Lightbox to our project, as we're doing right here from the Elements panel, the thumbnail, that image element that sits inside the Lightbox link, has a placeholder. And we can replace that with our own thumbnail for the media we're putting in the actual Lightbox. So let's pick our thumbnail image. Now, you can create a smaller thumbnail on your own, but keep in mind, Webflow will automatically create smaller versions of this image and load up the best size for the user. And once you've set the thumbnail, you're all done. You can do to this thumbnail everything you can do to a normal image element. We can resize it. We can double click and replace it. We can go over to our element settings panel and add an alt attribute. That's setting thumbnails. Now let's set up our media. The goal here is to select the image or the video that we want displayed when a user presses on our Lightbox link. And to do that, we can select any element inside our Lightbox link. In this case, we're selecting the thumbnail itself. And to choose our media, we'll go to the Element Settings panel. We have our Lightbox settings right here. Two options, image or video. Video lets us paste a link from a third-party site like YouTube or Vimeo, and image lets us choose an image file. We can upload a new image, or in this case, we already have the image in the Asset Manager. Simply select that image and we're good to go. For images, we have the option to add a caption here. Let's type one in so we can see what it looks like. Once we've done that, we can go to Preview on the top of the canvas and hover over our thumbnail. And once we press it, when we press on the Lightbox link, we see our Lightbox media. Caption right there at the bottom. That's setting up our media. And finally, we have linking. And this might be the greatest thing of all. If we have different Lightbox links on the same page, we can link them together so they behave as a group, like this. We can navigate by using the arrows on the side and... This, this part is awesome. Yeah, this is... I was thinking they will have to make a full page pop-up. Yeah. Trigger yeah. it. Trigger it. And like, I would have done that. Yeah, this yeah. Is... This is awesome. Where's the light box? Ah, light box. Mm. So, uh, the image four goes inside light box. Yeah. Now this is a light box. I think so. Let's let's publish. Let's open. No, we will we'll need oh. to link as well. Oh, without publishing, we can check the preview. Yeah, we need to link it, no? Ha ha. Wo, there's ha. a video. Wo video where it was showing right. What is link? How do you link it? Niche uska textual data No, I think this is the animation. Yeah. Let's remove that animation. But the animation looks good too, no? <laughs> so open actually, it actually, uh, I'm not able to see the animation well. I think the latent there's some latency. This is yeah. data, no? What? Yeah, you will Oh yes, 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 yes. <laughs> awesome, yes, awesome. Yes. Crazy, Done. crazy. Yeah, yeah, crazy. <laughs> Perfect. I wasn't expecting it to be done so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just link it. Uh, there was a fourth setting in the tutorial. Let's just do that as well. How did it do that? Uh, I, we didn't see right. Yeah, the fourth we, part we, we did not see. Link with other light boxes. Oh, this is done. So, just Just click on publish. I want to check it out. <laughs> but preview may hona chahiye na? I think nahi hua hai. So click on right. Click, click on right arrow key. Ek hai Chalo, so there... Yeah, dekh the tutorial. It's very small. Haan. Fifty-eight seconds remaining. 
all. If we have different lightbox links on the same page, we can link them together so they behave as a group, like this. We can navigate by using the arrows on the side and by using the thumbnails which are presented at the bottom. And to do this, we can select anything in our lightbox link, go over to element settings, and at the bottom of lightbox settings, we check link with other lightboxes. Now, wait a second. What if on our page we have multiple groups of lightboxes we don't want in the same set? That's what the group name is for. We match the name for each lightbox we want in the group. And when they match, when each of these has the same group name, we can see very clearly that they now link. Uh, let, let, let's complete it. Let's complete this. Let's wait, wait. Let's complete this tutorial. Huh. Huh. Together perfectly. So we've covered the anatomy of our lightbox link, which is a link block containing our thumbnail. And when pressed, that takes us to our media. We can use pictures or videos from an external site. And of course, we can link multiple lightboxes together. That's a lightbox. Cool. So we have only used one lightbox, right? We have to use lightboxes for all the images. Uh, click on the some other image. This oh, works looking for... Yeah, oh. because it's in it's in a grid, right? It's in a repeatable uh, thing. Maybe I, I oh, think a... uh, mobile mm -hmm. pay, it doesn't show the arrow, but on searching... Let's, let's, Achha, let's see publish. Publish, karke, haan, dekhte. publish, karke, dekhte. publish haan, uh, we'll check from here. This one has that link. Even this one has the link. Yeah, let's publish and see. Yep. Hmm. No, it's not. It's not linked, yeah. Let's give a group name. I don't think so. It will happen in the group name. But yeah, let's, let's try it out. Excerpt. Yeah. But then it's we'll so... need to give the group name. How? How is it coming? Because it's the same element. No? Got it. Understood. Click on publish. Yeah. 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 Done. Done. All right. Yeah. I like the fact that we did not have to create a new page. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Like if 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 we were Doing this with code, we'll have we would have to save it on the state and then state mm -hmm. basis say model dikao. A lot of headache. I would have asked for two days. <laughs> <laughs> this looks amazing. Yeah, this was nice. Yeah, it's published. Cool, cool. Mere with the show ni kya? Ah, okay. Arrow is not visible. But niche thumbnail are to uh, you, you can actually swipe uh, on mobile view. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy, crazy. Crazy stuff. Let's let's take a screenshot for this as well. Yep. And uh, you can post a before and after. I think this was a super productive session. <laughs> I think this will need two screenshots. No, it, it, it to show coming. the image. Yeah, yeah. This is the USB. <laughs> this is the USB. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And from an effort perspective, this literally took us like five minutes. Yeah. yeah. Not even five minutes. Ek kali link box dale ho gaya. Yeah. Yeah. was like, nahin, ko dekhna hi pura tutorial. And even the tutorials are so crisp. Yeah. Yeah. Three to like five minutes when you can. Like them use case ka saa ta ra ta. Haan. Boy, must productive. Perfect. Ab saare MVP isi pe bunenge. Done, done, done. Sorted. Hmm. Awesome.
I I like the the little logo at the top. It it almost feels like एक तो the font is such such that it feels like you've written uh, some like some very cool script. Uh, uh, yeah. And like I'm getting the Diwali vibes from here. Just we we do do that. Uh, what do we call it? Sathvik, I think. What huh. do we call it? Swastik. 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 Oh my God! <laughs> my mom will kill me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least I know how to how to make it. So yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Um. Uh, it almost looks like this. Some cool thing at the top, like some stamp of approval. <laughs> yeah. Some some logo and then other things. Like uh, adding like, this change uh, a lot to the page, right? Pehle direct yahan se start ho raha tha. Yeah. Thoda sa it was it felt weird when I saw it. I don't know why. डेटा Yeah, yeah. Thing. Uh, before that, how did we do that? The database part. I haven't connected database. Actually, you have, you have to watch the last week's recording. Okay, <laughs> no, okay. I can, I, I can give a zip quickly. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, we just wanted these three data uh, tables. So we first hmm. defined the schema and all, hmm. and then. I think uh, I think you were interested in the schema, right? Connecting to should should be transparent, right? Yeah. Mohi, were you interested in schema or or the other things? No schema. Ki by by to I don't know much. Uh, yeah. Back in the schema, schema is what 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 would help. Acha. Acha, ठीक है हाँ वो दोनों ही चलेगा जाइ द जस्ट और वो हाँ पे कैसे किए आप एक फ्लोर schema में like we wanted the users to post the log and Also, their favorite book and the currently reading book. So hmm. there were actually three different entities over here. The hmm. user got the profile information, ka, and then we just link like basic schema, eh? log, ka, ki we have the user, we have the cohort. काफी redundant चीजें जो अभी दिखा नहीं रहे हम सामने. हाँ. So the uh, problem here was that we were uh, adding the logs as text. But then display कर रहे in the form of this post shot, right? Hmm. Yeah. And that is yeah. really interesting. So, yeah. Read by is. आपने कहा ना इसका नाम? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So अपने हाँ. did that and we mm-hmm. did the link over here. But then we हाँ. still wanted the image, not the link. Yeah. So we created an automation, which will actually That's convert the link to image. So this was also a trial and error thing. We just uh, ऐसे इंटूटिवली कर दिया एंड इट वर्क वी जस्ट गेव देम द लाइक द फील्ड दे दिया कि दिस वन वाज द कवर इमेज जस्ट ऑटोमेटिकली कन्वर्ट फ्रॉम द यूआरएल टू अटैचमेंट सो इट जस्ट वर्क तो लिंक से वो वाला शॉट हो गया कि लिंक से हम इमेज जनरेट कर पा रहे थे सेम फॉर हियर वो कवर का वी जस्ट पेस्टेड द लिंक and it automatically generated these images and uh-huh. saved it over here so this was the schema and mm. one more calculation we are doing here is which is work in progress ki total excerpt to three so total mm. excerpt to aasan tha we just count ki how many logs are over here link kiya hua mm. so that will actually give us the total excerpt that is the easy part streak ka it like we have to figure it out ki kaise display karna hai For the time being, we are thinking that the streak, uh, the streak won't be broken if you miss one day. But mm-hmm. if you don't come back the other day, that what I mean by that is if there is a forty-eight hours the difference between the last excerpt and the current mm-hmm. excerpt, then your streak will be broken. Mm-hmm. If you come, if you just uh, update your log within forty-eight hours, so streak pe plus one add ho jayega. Mm-hmm. That's wh- how we are thinking. So we'll need to figure mm-hmm. out how kaise karna isko. Then uh, add table को Webflow से connect करने का कोई direct तरीका नहीं है because Webflow can only access data from its own CMS here. Okay. हाँ. So we had uh-huh. to create similar tables over here, like whatever uh-huh. data we needed. 
यहाँ पे काफी रिडेंडेंट था वो सारी चीजें नहीं डाले जैसे व्हाट्सएप नंबर वगैरह जितने चाहिए सिर्फ वो यहाँ पर बनाए हमने एंड देन वी नीडेड अ सर्विस इन बिटवीन विच वुड एक्चुअली कॉपी फ्रॉम टेबल टू वेब फ्लो का सी एम एस तो वी फाउंड दिस वेबसाइट विच डेट तो यहाँ पर वी जस्ट गिव द एयर टेबल का की वी गिव द वेब फ्लो का की एंड वी जस्ट मैप दोट द टेबल की रीड रीड थर्टी यूजर्स टू यूजर्स जितने भी फील्ड है वी जस्ट नीडेड टू मैप की नेम को नेम से मैप करो कवर इमेज को कवर इमेज से मैप करो एंड वी जस्ट डेजर्ट बटन सिंक का तो डेट विल ऑटोमेटिकली कॉपी ऑल द एयर टेबल डेटा टू वेब फ्लो There's a lot going on in the background. Yeah. Okay. But then using these no code tools, we have saved so much time. Otherwise, mm -hmm. agar yeah, ye wala, ye wala yeah. tool nahi hota, to we would have to set up JPR pe uh, ek workflow set up karna hota ki Airtable pe update hua. Then you this was the trigger ki Airtable me ek record aaya, and then yeah. you send that to Webflow, and then har ek ko map bhi karna hota. So ये hmm. काफी इंटुटिव वे दे देता है मतलब ये यूआई बना के दे देता है वहां पे काफी कुछ बैकग्राउंड में सेलेक्ट करना होता है हमें लाइक इफ यू हैव टू एस्टिमेट हाउ मच टाइम लाइक कोड टेक लाइक इफ इफ यू गॉन द कोड वे व्हाट्स द रफ एस्टिमेट ऑफ द टाइम देयर All of, all of the developers in the room, so we can talk about this. <laughs> yeah. So, मेरे हिसाब से कोड से भी इतना टाइम नहीं लगता बिकॉज ये जो मिडल लेयर है वो फिगर आउट नहीं करना होता वी कुड है डायरेक्टली यूज एयर टेबल का मतलब वेब फ्लो का पार्ट चले जाता है एयर टेबल वुड है डेटा बेस एंड कोड से वी वुड हैव लाइक द ए पी आई और फ्रंट एंड so next i i primarily use next js as my base framework which is a full stack framework so and for styling i use tailwind css and like i have been using it for uh, for like 15 months tailwind se so thoda experience hai i could right. pass so ui banane mein jitna time jata and then data ka bas ye ek problem hai ki air table ka api matlab when we query air table तो उसका अपना ही एक सिंटैक्स है वी कांट यूज नॉर्मल फैचुअलर सिंटैक्स एंड इवन वी वी हैड टू फिगर आउट की रिस्पांस कैसे स्ट्रक्चर में आ रहे हैं तो वो दो चीजें टाइम लगती बट देन व्हेन वी वर डूइंग दिस जस्ट उसके एक रात पहले ही मैंने एयर टेबल एपीआई से काम किया था ऑन अनदर प्रोजेक्ट तो आई हैड अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ आइडिया सो या आई थिंक अ कपल ऑफ डेज या बट वन थिंग दैट आई आई Feel we saved a lot on is the entire ORM layer entirely. Like we did yeah. not have to deal with um, and at and, all. And the uh, light box was a part that would have oh, taken time. Oh oh yeah. And like yeah. while extending it, uh, the the best part about it is anyone in the team can edit it. Like there's yeah. no dependency on like one particular person. For mm -hmm. code, me it usually happens even when. uh you get someone else involved they need to like uh, understand mm -hmm. everything It takes a lot of time uh, yeah, yeah. but i i like the entire workflow here it's very visual even mm -hmm. whatever margin spadding we're putting we can clearly see very fast mm -hmm. of course you can yeah. do that in code as well but yeah i think i i mm -hmm. like this more especially that we didn't have to deal with writing sql queries or like just mapping those things it was just like point or just select um once we have defined it to, we just say use this image for this text and done um mm -hmm. so those those were pretty fun and i feel this would give uh, um i think the, the one major difference also here is that you have been coding for a long time now and no code like this is like the early stage for you right this is like you just yeah. exploring no code uh, yeah. right now and uh, this will compound as in once you do more mm -hmm. like full mvps in no code itself uh, because next time we'll not need to search a lot of these stuff we know yeah. okay there's there's a concept of cms in no code tools these are the so whatever explorations exactly. we did 
those are like one time investments yeah so we mm-hmm. like jitna bhi abhi time laga that was due to the fact that we were working for, uh, like that mm-hmm. for the first time on these correct yeah. and, and still still we so. saved time still, yeah yeah that is yeah. like the craziest aspect of it yeah, yeah. cool anything else you know touch on i think it's been like this this was like 2 hours almost yeah mm. yeah 2 hours 2 hours cool anything else you want to touch on before we stop recording i think we are done now there's a small tweak the menu which we can do i think as well which which one the tweak for that part and yeah i think we'll we'll figure it out as yeah. well uh yeah. do we do we want to do something for the desktop view as well yeah I mean, people would open it on the desktop too because ankita opened it on the desktop yesterday okay <laughs> there would be something you no know, that would actually map everything like most of the size are done we just need to play around the padding right ideally we should only play around with the margins and padding when moving yeah, from yeah yeah i think all the elements are the same they are there at the place even the light box and everything it will work as is it's just that we need to align to play, yeah lay it out better lay it out better um, and one thing i realized that the desktop you didn't pick up the colors from the mobile view what can, can you show that again that is very weird yeah. the background colors i don't think desktop view picked it up there's no color sure interesting good, good thing is that we have it uh, we have it in the brand uh, there's a variable right yeah. Mm. Yeah. or is it like uh, webflow webflow is from desktop to mobile like if we add size over here it will translate to mobile and not the other way around i don't think so yeah yeah so if, if you add a uh, style to desktop version it will affect all the below what i saw it go okay. Yeah, But click on let, the click on the preview button. Uh, it will show this line. Acha. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Oh, can't get that line. Uh, okay. Answer uh, that. I'll There just is... add change the color. And let's see if it propagates to different parts too, right? Yeah. Hmm. So so there is there is a. Yeah. Remember when I saw it? Can you uh, decrease? this uh, width of this white section kahin pe ek line hai acha click on the tablet version it will show ha yeah so affect 991 pixel and below yeah this is what i was talking about so but then if i like if i select hmm. over here it won't be showing on that's up no no acha yeah. affect yeah. this and below oh ho oh, oh. ho yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, I... okay. so we should like always design desktop first <laughs> then rearrange stuff for mobile all right yeah uh yeah. Just so to... that means if i change the color of this section it should also change it for the mobile does, does that mean yeah. when when we whenever we make changes here it will like mess up our mobile view does that mean does it mean that yes yes it, it will should not yeah it will so then we go and fix the mobile one then so both of them are fixed they should be but uh, then yeah you... oh, okay okay Ch- change change it change it over this? here what is this mm. yeah it will <coughs> there, there should be a way to a... uh prevent this right there should be a way to reverse the order not reverse yeah. but like block like why should desktop changes be forced forcefully applied to mobile so our mobile view is done right hmm. there should you be one that i can say hey don't touch my mobile view hmm. let's try to look it up agar kuch hai to other or main to i have to do it fun, fun part is we can export the code nice. so when we are making like when we will shift to code we can just copy the html perfect yeah. Hmm. Let's just quickly search if there's a way to block. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Uh, let's do it. Otherwise, because we know that we have to make changes in desktop view, right? 
Iya. Ya. That makes sense. There should be a way. So, if you think about media queries, how, how will you do it? So, yeah, we we can. If we haven't defined media queries, it affects all the styles, right? Hmm. And uh, if we have blocked it from four hundred pixels and below, so it does not mess up uh, our uh, desktop. And but the same thing is not. True for vice versa. Okay. Let's... Great points in Webflow. Let us design not just. Sixteen minutes. Ka. Acha. Let's not shorten this. Click on intro. Uh, I think there are some sections, right? Ha. Oh, ch chapters. One scale the canvas. Oh, click on the scale the canvas. Does it mean that mobile se bade size pe zar ja re? No, I think it's talking about the canvas. Mine will look like on a much much larger display without having to go test that design on a much much larger. Go to next sections. What are the other? Fourteen forty. We said this was the break point for the sixteen inch MacBook Pro, and in Apple's own tech specs, they list the pixel width. The path the sixteen inch MacBook Pro should be. Why do we say it's in the second largest break point? Whether they're using this on assets are smoothly scaled up. Apple does this really well scaled to look like those resolutions. What are the other so, sections? Do you have to do the math? Do you have to reference page? You can. But we also have common device widths right at the bottom. Let's go back over to our 1440 breakpoint. Yeah, let's we let's want to preview what, styles in, in to some see how everything do, looks on each in some sense we have Sorry? to override styles with the mobile view. Hmm. So it's five already. I'll have to leave. Let's just keep it for the next section. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, me too. Okay. Right. Yeah. All right, folks. I'll stop recording. This was fun. See you next yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. This exactly. was nice. Yeah. I learned a lot. Okay.